Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen, um, Pandemic Pantry. It is April 2020, and so um, depending on where you are on the planet, you're either sort of slowly crawling out of the, the current problem, or you're just about to get plunged into the worst part of it. Um, there's a lot of people who are in complete lockdown, a lot of people in complete quarantine, and it's still really tough out there, and it's going to be tough for a lot of people for a long time. A lot of people out of work, a lot of people with no income, wondering how to pay for the rent, wondering how to come up even with some food. Um, we've been in lockdown for a while. We started running out. Uh, we made a trip to the grocery store a little while ago, and we found nothing. And so this past weekend, we went out again to shop for some older relatives um, who just absolutely can't get out. And um, we found almost everything that we needed. Uh, flour, milk, eggs, uh, meat was back on the counters. Um, it's not too bad. You just can't rely on getting your favorite brand. You might just have to make do. One of the things I really wanted was Baker's chocolate. Um, and you're going to see a video coming out in a couple of weeks where I don't have Baker's chocolate because I film these out of order. And so I still couldn't get Baker's chocolate at the, uh, at the grocery store. The one aisle that was completely wiped out was the baking aisle. And I really wanted brownies. So I bought myself a couple of Toblerones. And today we're going to make Toblerone brownies. So into this uh, glass jug, I have put butter, unsweetened cocoa powder, and I'm going to break in two Toblerone bars. Okay, almost two. I'm going to keep this for myself. Now, I'm going to melt this chocolate and butter together. You can do it in a double boiler or a barely simmering pot of water. Um, I used to do that all the time. I now do it in a microwave. So I'm going to take this inside, and I'm going to melt it up. Okay, in our microwave, that takes just over a minute, but be careful. Stir it often. So in this bowl, I have some flour, and I'm going to add to that baking powder and salt. And just give that a bit of a stir to mix it together. Next, in this big bowl, I'm going to put the sugar and two eggs. about that much vanilla, and we're just going to whisk that together. So you just want to whip this until it's kind of light and fluffy. Um, difficult to describe, but the color changes and the texture changes, and you can see that it's really foamy and frothy. So now I mix in the chocolate. Okay, now we just whisk that into the eggs. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, I'm going to switch to a spatula, and I'm going to put in all of the flour mixture, and just stir that in. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees, and I have a, uh, a cake pan here that I have buttered and lined with a parchment sling. So, into the pan. and into the oven. Let's see. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. So now that we've had some soup and some bread, it's time for some dessert our random chocolate brownie. <laughs> so this is Toblerone. It looks like a brownie. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? And it's got that nice, glassy, glossy top on it. That's a good brownie. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting brownie, because it's not, it's not the super cakey one. Nope. So it's not, oh, and now I got that caramel flavor of the yeah. Toblerone. Now you really get the rest of the Toblerone flavors. So you get all those other Toblerone moment. flavors coming through, yeah. You Isn't gotta that... eat it slowly, you gotta yeah. enjoy it. But, um, it's kind of in between a cakey and a and a and a super fudgy fudgy one, mm -hmm. right? It's it's this is going to be a problem. If you go to the grocery store and the baking aisle is completely wiped out, and there's still some candy in the candy aisle, Toblerone, I guess any, any of any of, of those chocolate. chocolate bars. Anything that's mainly chocolate. Yeah. Clearly, a, a, big, a big, caramel big filled thing isn't going to work. Big Turk not going to work. <laughs> Do they have Big Turk in the United States? I don't know. Uh, coffee crisp, coffee crisp might work, but it wouldn't be chocolatey enough. And again, mm -hmm. don't have it in the United States. Sorry, guys. Those are great chocolate bars. 
But you got this. Mm -hmm. Make it your own. Decide what you think is, is you like. And uh, happy dessert making. <laughs> Look at recipes and say, I don't have ingredient C. What can I substitute? Yeah. It doesn't, I mean. And sometimes that's substituting a sugar. In this case, it was substituting a chocolate and coming up with something that works. Don't be afraid to put, and I know that everybody says baking is a science and you have to follow it exactly. There's wiggle room. But There's yeah, always some wiggle room to play with it. It really is just a ratio. Mm -hmm. So. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you again soon.